tilefish? You really want to fish for tilefish? Absolutely. Here's a fish that's fun and easy to catch, and it's great on the dinner table. More and more anglers these days are dropping baits deep for the tasty tiles. It's a good way to round out a day on the high seas, especially when your fortunes for other species may have brought out the skunk flag. Of course, lots of fishermen look down their noses at tilefish. That's partly because the fish have traditionally required very heavy gear for the round trips down 400 feet and more. For a fish in the five or 10 pound range, that causes some serious cranking and huffing. So the tilefish attracts little glamour and media coverage. But these deep dwellers are drawing considerable new interest due to a comprehensive article about them in December's Florida Sportsman. It's by publisher Blair Wickstrom, who in my slightly prejudiced view does a thorough job. Turns out that some of the best developments for bringing up tilefish out of the black distant bottom are braid line. The woven no stretch line is tiny in diameter and cuts through the water like the thread it impersonates. The braid packs easily onto much smaller gear. That makes it less like lifting a minnow with a derrick. Unfortunately, strong runs of tilefish have mostly attracted commercial interests. This includes miles of long lines waving thousands of hooks, even though long lines for other species are banned. As usual, commercial overfishing is fostered rather than cut back. Meantime, anglers face an assortment of no fishing areas and bag reductions, while commercials take 97% of the tilefish. 97%. Let's fight for a higher allocation for the average fisherman. So we recommend that you mix up your fishing agenda with some deep drops for the blue tilefish. For conservation, that takes pressure off more of the standard targets and gives you some large forkfuls of excellent eating.